in one day in June 1777, I was out there watching the smoke coming up in the ground. But you know, folks, Benedict Arnold heard the news. Uh, gee, the Hessian are coming. They have arrived at the farm, and they're trying to track us all. So they obey King George the Third of all England. Yikes! Charity? Oh, shucks, not again. This is the third time this week we've attacked you. Our Grand Union flag looks just like the British flag. I bet the roads are destroyed. We won't be able to go anywhere. Dig a straight line! <gasps> From ocean to ocean. Um, I'm demonstrating. Now, you are a very angry young man. When anger builds up, you need to invent, right? Well, I, I don't know if I'd consider myself talented, really. Dashing, courageous, brilliant, incredibly handsome, perhaps. See, soon you will run out of tiny countries, okay? So I recommend conquering furniture, because there's always enough furniture to, you know, smash. Like this. So why are you, you know, obsessed with this greatness thing? Can, can we talk about your mother? I was pretty spectacular. Of course, I, I couldn't have done it without my troops. Exactly. So I, I want you to get plenty of peace and quiet. I'll come see you again in two weeks. Presenting the cast of How I Met Your Mother. Outrageous. Look at that. This uncouth, barbaric, pompestuous lout. He should not be here when their mother is out. Are you sure? It really looks like a pugnet. Ha! No can do, mister! You need to find a better spot! Out of this house. I'm warning you, get out! Eh, too late! Well, the idea is I don't want you to fire until they're very close. All right! I don't think so. You mean real close, like this. Yes, that is close enough. All right about that, chaps. I'll teach you kids to play in my yard. Heathens! Put down that train set this instant! Then, of course, those with stars all got frightfully mad. To be wearing a star now was frightfully bad. Then, of course, old Sylvester McMonkey McBean invited them into his star office. That's Congress. They write the laws. The judicial branch! Those are the judges. They explain the laws. And the executive branch! That's the president. I enforce the law. <laughs> now, Benedict Arnold would go on to distinguish himself as one of America's most successful military leaders, especially during the crucial battle fought at Saratoga in 1777. And so, in the summer of 1776, America finally had Experimented with electricity and invented the lightning rod. No! I don't like it. It's yours! 